All right, today I'm making an applesauce, and I just want to show you how easy this is. Um, I just got this thing from my folks, I'm borrowing it. It actually cores and peels the apples. I've already gone through a uh, whole bunch of them. This is all that's left right now. This has only been about a half an hour. Now that they're all peeled and cored, we've got them in a pot simmering with water. I'm going to cook it down, and as you can tell, it's already starting to break up. This is the first time I've ever done this, so... Talking to my folks, it sounded like it was a pretty easy job, and I checked it out online. I guess you're supposed to just simmer it down. They're already starting to fall right apart. I'm going to keep this on here and let this cook down a little bit more. I need the stove to stop boiling lids and jars to can. Now that it's starting to cook down to the consistency that I want it at, I've got my brown sugar in it, nutmeg and cinnamon. Pretty much doing this to taste. I also tend to want my sauce a little thicker than average. I want to have little chunks of apple in it. I tell you, it smells great. from the top. And I'm going to poke down the non-metallic utensil to get the air pockets out. You want to wipe down all your tops to make sure that you get a good clean seal. Finger tight. Extremely hot. So you should keep an inch apart from each jar so they cool. Okay, this is the end result of uh, applesauce. For $15 worth of apples for a bushel. We got 16 quarts of applesauce. Probably two and a half hours total work. That's counting peeling, canning, which isn't too bad for a rainy afternoon. See the good and all.